sanctification. What does the authorized Holy Bible say about it? Leviticus 27. Sanctify yourselves and be ye holy, for I am the Lord. Numbers 2012. Moses didn't sanctify God to the people, so he didn't go into the promised land. 2 Chronicles 29.5 Levites had to sanctify themselves and take the filthiness out of God's holy place. Isaiah 29.23 God's children will sanctify his name, sanctify the Holy One of Israel, and fear God. Ezekiel 37.28 The heathen shall know that God, the Lord, does sanctify Israel. John 17.17 17. Jesus Christ prayed that his disciples be sanctified by God's truth. His word is true. John 17.19 Jesus Christ sanctified himself so his disciples are sanctified through the truth. Ephesians 5.26 Jesus Christ sanctified and cleansed the church by the washing of water by the word. 1 Peter 3.15 Sanctify the Lord God in your hearts to be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is within you with meekness and fear. 1 Thessalonians 4.3 The will of God is your sanctification that you all abstain from fornication. 1 Thessalonians 4.4 4, That you all know how to possess your vessel in honor and sanctification. 2 Thessalonians 2.13 God has chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief in the truth. Sanctification means to purify and alienate yourself from sin and the world. So do that. Galatians 6.14 says, I am crucified to the world. And the world is crucified to me. We don't go to places that the world go. We don't do the things that the world do. We don't say the things that the world say. Because we are set apart. Sanctified for the use of God. As it is written. Come up from among them. And be ye separate. Saith the Lord. 2 Corinthians 6.17 and I'll throw in the rest of 17 and 18. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. Amen and amen.